What's up, everybody? It's your boy, New York, Montez, Monty, and Wow, whatever you want to call me. Hey, it's the sports time. I know it's college football season. I got to get my predicting teams in. Um, so on this video, it's my first thing of called Debate Me. You can debate me. You can leave a comment down below. Like, share, subscribe at the end of this video. But I'm about to give you my top four teams that are going to make the playoffs this year. I'm going to tell you the reason why they're going to make the playoffs. And I'm going to tell you the reason why some of my other teams won't make the playoffs. I'm going to give you my sleeper teams. And yeah. So everybody, I hope y'all all enjoy the video. So let's get it. Here we go. My number one seed in the playoff will be the University of Alabama. You got dang right. The University of Alabama. I think Alabama has the potential to go 12-0, but I think we'll go 11-1. I think I see one team beating us, and that one team is, um, and I know all my Bama fans might hate this, but the one team I think may beat us this year is Auburn. I think Auburn has the best chance of beating us. I think we'll have a slacker game, and we just let them win. So I think, but I don't think Auburn will have enough wins and losses to compete in the West, so we'll still go to the SEC Championship game. In the SEC Championship game, I got us playing Georgia, and we win in that game. Um, my number two team is um, USC. Then USC will make it to the playoffs. I think they'll be the number two seed. I think they will lose against Stanford in the regular season. And they'll beat out everybody else, like Texas and Washington State. They're the only two ranked teams they have right now that they play. Um, I think they'll lose against Stafford in the first game. I think they'll beat them in the rematch in the Pac-12 championship game. And USC will be the number two seed with a 11-1 record. Actually, 12-1 um, record going to the playoffs. My number three seed. And this one, the three and four seed was really difficult for me to choose between because... It was pretty hard to break all this down. So my number three seed, I think, is going to be Oklahoma. I think Oklahoma is on has a good chance to beat a lot of teams that people may not think they beat. I think they're going to have the year of revenge. I think they'll beat Ohio State. I think they'll beat Texas. They lost against both of them last year. So I think they'll revenge and get those two. I think they'll beat um. West Virginia, and they'll beat Oklahoma, and I think they'll lose to Oklahoma State. But I don't think that one loss will affect them overall from making the playoffs. I think they'll be the Big 12 champion, and I think they'll be the three seed with a 11-1 record. My number four seed is Penn State. I think Penn State will beat um, – I think Penn State will beat – Either Michigan or Ohio State. I think they'll beat Michigan. I think Ohio State will beat them as a revenge game. But I think this is what I think was going to happen. I think this is the big thing why I think Penn State will be the four seed. I think, or even maybe the three, just based off the record, but I'm giving them the four because they will not win the conference. I think they're going to get set up in the same situation as Ohio State did last year. I think Ohio State got will lose against Oklahoma. And I honestly think they'll lose against Michigan this year, too, because they're playing at Michigan. We all know Michigan got robbed last year. So I actually think that this is what's going to happen. Penn State only has Michigan and Ohio State on their schedule. I think they will split one of their games. I think they'll be 11-1, but they won't make the conference championship game. I think maybe some kind of our way Ohio State wins the conference, but they have two L's. They're going to get kicked out. Because they have two L's. I don't think nobody in the playoffs will have two L's. I think one is the minimal. I think Ohio State will win the um, the Big Ten. Yeah, I think Ohio State will be in the Big Ten. And I think Penn State will get in with an 11-1 record. I think um, Ohio State will eliminate Wisconsin. Because of Wisconsin will play in the um, championship game versus Ohio State. Um, I think Wisconsin will go in with an 11-1 record. With, and... In the conference championship game, and I think they'll lose against Ohio State, making therefore making them eleven and two. I think Ohio State will become eleven and two, but I think Penn State will be sitting there pretty with an eleven and one record and looking like the best team to me in the ACC. So those are my top four teams to make the playoffs this year. I think uh, my sleeper team. This is my big sleeper team. 
my sleeper team this year is Louisville and Georgia. The reason I pick Louisville and Georgia is because I think Georgia can run the table. They play three ranked teams in the SEC. They play Florida, Auburn, and um, Tennessee all on the road. I think they can beat all three of those teams. I think Georgia has the potential to beat all three of those teams this year. So a pick here, Georgia to probably shock somebody, shock the world, and go 12 and 0, lose to Alabama, and and Georgia may be this is my sleeper pick, maybe the fourth seed to make it into the playoff. Um, I also think that. Louisville has the potential to run the table too, but I think they'll lose against Florida State. I think it, the ACC will get left out this year for some odd reason. I know a lot of people don't see that, but this is the reason why. The ACC, I think they will beat themselves. I feel like Miami are on the weaker side. They will win the conference. I think got Miami going to the ACC championship game, but I think they'll lose like a fluke game or something like that. Either versus um, Virginia Tech, and then like they lose against Virginia Tech and Florida State. And that's what's going to ruin their chances to make it to the ACC championship game. But Louisville only plays Clemson and Florida State this year. I think they'll beat everybody. If they stay focused with Lamar Jackson, they'll beat everybody and um, either lose against Clemson or Florida State. I don't think they'll lose against Clemson. That's why I got them beating it. I think Louisville will be 11-1. But I think Florida State may come out of the, the side that um, – the coastal division that they're on and come and play in the um, ACC championship game. I think Florida State will not make it because they out of conference schedule. They have too many losses. I got them losing to Alabama. Y'all already know. And I also got them losing against either Florida. They also got Miami they may lose to and Louisville. I think Florida State will just have too many losses. They got too many teams that they have to play with that can impact their season. So, I feel like Louisville is that sleeper team. Georgia are on my sleeper team. If Georgia can stay undefeated and just beat Tennessee, Florida, and Auburn on the road, I think that Georgia can have a good case of losing a close game to Alabama in the SEC championship game with a 12-1 and record. I think people will have to look at that, and I think this year may be the first year that we have two teams in one conference in the um, – Playoffs, maybe. That's just my sleeper pick. Or I think Louisville may be sitting there pretty with an 11-1 record. Everybody want. I think they'll get enough push because if they do win the ACC and they have enough Heisman hype with Lamar Jackson, you have Lamar, you got the Heisman. Everybody wanted to see him in the last year. They almost did it, but then they kind of stunk at the end of the season. I think Louisville can surprise everybody and be that other sleeper team. So Georgia and Louisville are my other sleeper team. So... Overall, at the end of the day, I think it's going to be Alabama, USC, Penn State, and Oklahoma. You can switch them to how you want to switch them. But I think Alabama, number one, USC, number two, either Penn State, number three, and Oklahoma, number four, or Oklahoma, number three, and Penn State, number four. It just depends on how you look at it. So this is my top four teams. This is my prediction by the end of the season. I hope you all like the video. You all be blessed and roll tide.